Hello folks, Jerry and welcome back to Test Giraffe Unlimited and today I'm happy to announce that we're actually gonna be having a sort of a side series on this main series because, well, why the fuck not? Anyways, you guys might remember that I rage quit on this exact course in that exact car uh, in the last episode and that's actually uh, when I had this idea that we should, you know, take cars out and basically, you know, see how well they could perform on this course and uh, well, we're gonna uh, we're gonna have like um, like basically a timetable of all the cards and see which one is the fastest. And now, obviously, uh, the Viper was already maxed, so I had to actually take this car out for um, for the actual run on the course first. And oh my god, I hate this car! I fucking hate this car! Holy shit! Now this. Uh, as you guys can see, I currently have 95 kilometers on that counter. Uh, it was around 50 when I actually started racing, so... Holy shit, this car is a pain in the ass to actually drive. I don't like it at all. It's... It's terrible to actually drive. It handles like shit, as you guys uh, were able to see previously. And I'm sure that, you know, you guys will see uh, that I just struggle with this car. And that's basically because the driving aid is completely off, so, you know, no uh, actual assists are going on. And I'm not really that good at the game, as you guys, you know, might not really expect. I, I wonder why. Anyways, uh, still, I, I did a lot of takes with this car, and usually I just spawn on the first few corners, so I had around... Around 50 attempts, I'm not even kidding, holy shit. Now anyways, this uh, part of the course was actually the worst, uh, because if I just pressed on the gas, uh, sometimes it would just randomly sp spin out. This car is completely uncontrollable, and you know, that's when I realized that I actually need to, co uh, need to compare it to something. Uh, also, you guys might notice that, you know, the driving aid is kind of... Uh, not uh, full, that's because, uh, well, I couldn't be fucking bothered, so I'm just gonna, you know, include the penalty in the final time, because, well, fuck this car, that's, well, that's uh, putting it, uh, well, not politely, I guess. Anyways, I decided to buy another car just to see how this car actually compares to it, so let's take a look at that. Well, basically, at the beginning, the house I was in ran out of grass space, so I had to buy a new house, and then I had to farm a lot more money. Now, the garage I bought is actually at the uh, top part of the island, so that means that in the future we're gonna be able to easily discover uh, that part of the island, which actually, uh, for what I remember, is actually my favorite, so that's... Uh, that's a nice bonus, but anyways, this garage also has six spaces, so I'm gonna be able to buy some more cars and, you know, store them for, uh, for a good amount of time, I hope. As for the car, I knew exactly which one to get instantly, because I just love this car, like, I actually had this in my original playthrough back in 2013. Don't look it up, it's, it's fucking awful, don't look it up. But anyways, uh, I had a Ferrari, and that Ferrari was... This, the 575M Maranello, I love this car, like, I think it looks just amazing, it's probably one of my favorite Ferraris, and because I'm nostalgic, or because I don't like change, probably a um, combination of those two things, I decided to even get it in the same exact color, because, you know, that's, um, that's amazing, anyway, I was just picking the color here, eventually I went with silver, because, you know, that's, oh god, I just pulled it, uh, oh well, doesn't really matter, but still, I love the way this car drives, and, uh, well, honestly, I just wanted to know if all the cars that I actually drove on that uh, circuit are gonna be as tough as the Viper, and, uh, well, let's take a look, so this is a, a stock C-Class car, the 575M, versus a maxed B-Class Viper. Alright, so first off, I don't actually know why the Viper is classed under a B-Class and is like three times less expensive than the Ferrari, but when I started driving the car, I noticed the difference immediately. And because I was so used to the Viper, I really didn't push this car as hard as I could, but even when, it's, uh, when it did slide, it was so much more controllable. Like, you know, Viper is uncontrollable. If you can, if you can actually, you know, get it to slide, which you can very easily, you won't be able to control it. Even when you slide in the Ferrari though, it it just feels amazing to drive this car. Maybe it was just because I was so used to that, uh, well, undrivable Viper, but still, as you guys can see, 
it immediately had a gap over the Viper, even though the Viper was much faster in the straight line, like, uh, like keep in mind that the Viper had much more horsepower, I'm not sure how many this had, but Viper had well over 600, so uh, there is that, still, as you guys can see, in the straight line, uh, the Ferrari definitely did lag that speed, and uh, uh, as you guys can see, uh, judging from the time markers there, the Viper eventually uh, almost caught up by, you know, the finish line uh, at, well, not, not the finish line, but, you know, uh, the actual uh, straight near the end of the lap there, but still, as soon as it got to, uh, to the actual corners, Ferrari just ran away, and um, it was so much nicer to drive, I... Oh my god, like, why did I pick the Viper? Because, you know, Vipers are not really uh, known for their amazing handling. Oh well, I guess that's what happens when you build a car on a fucking budget. Still, I would definitely take this stock C-Class car over the maxed Viper. I mean, they... I'm not at all sure how it is rating-wise. Maybe this car is not even that much off. I'm, g I'm gonna actually need to compare that. I'm gonna do that after I uh, actually finish this. But the McLaren, I mean, not the McLaren, holy shit, I play too much racing cars. The Ferrari had a decent advantage on the final straight, as you guys can see, didn't even lose that much because I had a good final drive near the end. However, this corner, uh, yeah, I, I kind of fucked up there, was kind of mad. Still, the actual time was faster, so fuck the Viper.